What do we have here? The new T-Motor frame. I'm extremely busy, but I promised them I'd have a review out this week. So let's get it in. First of all, excellent packaging, but that doesn't mean much. Some of the best frames I've ever gotten have come in a Ziploc, basically. So the packaging doesn't mean much. Let's take a look. Okay. Wow, so they really put in the, the work for this. 3D printed parts, shaped battery pad. What are these, O-rings? Wow, little gummies, metal standoff screws. Whoa, M M3 screws. Whoa. This is cool, this is different. Everything vacuum sealed, real good, real nice. Looks good. Carbon's pretty thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all this out and we'll check back in. Whoa, slotted arms. Okay, hold on, let's pop this out. I'll be back in a sec. Something already that I've run into that's pretty interesting is on the top bottom plate or whatever you wanna call it, the sandwiching plate, the little press nuts are part of the plate. So I didn't put any of these in, they came like that. Now I, I can't tell if they're carbon or um, metal yet, but that's pretty cool. Very interesting on, it's the first time I've seen that. Okay, let's continue. Some interesting things to note, the 10 millimeter screw goes in this hole and the longer 12 millimeter screw goes in these, that way you can mount what is their version of standoffs like this. Okay, on one on the front and then put one on the back. This is very interesting. I've also never seen this before. And then, so your stack screws end up going through the little slits, whether you go 20 by 20, which is these four, or 30 by 30, which is these. It's gonna go through the slit and that's a good thing because you're gonna be reducing vibrations and less impact and things like that in the crash. Time to put the rest of it together. Interesting thing alert. Um, so this is also interesting. The top plate is in three sections, which is, well, you'll see why in a second. So the middle section fits in like a puzzle piece here and reinforces the standoffs but since the thing is, the uh, bolt goes through the middle, it is recessed, which is interesting. Whoops, we're going in crooked. So it sits completely flat. That way it doesn't touch your battery, but although, yeah, that's it's like this so that you could put your battery pad over it and then you'll be above these anyway. So that is interesting. This is basically gonna go here, voila, after I put the standoffs back there. Overall, it looks like a really promising frame. Um, it's really, really stiff. And I guess that's what you get when you kind of use these uh, bridge style standoffs that they've got. Um, I don't see any problems. This is actually might be better having shorter uh, pieces in a top plate. I don't think you could do that so well in the bottom plate, but since we're on the top plate and we're not really contributing to vibrations or anything and nothing looks loose or anything, so you could do that up top, actually might make it stiffer in conjunction with those bridge standoffs. Very nice, 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 mounting in the front and the back, including 16 by 16 it looks like in the back, I don't know if you can see that. So you have like a sliding situation here, 20 by 20, 16, and then on the outside you have 30 by 30s. Looks great. Um, I put a bumper in the front. It also comes with an antenna bumper for your receiver and an SMA bumper, which I don't really use because I line mine up like that. It comes with these little battery pads. This one fits perfectly in here. And I guess this one goes in the back if you need it standoffs with the gummies yeah it comes with these little 3d printed camera mounts so they've thought of everything really and this frame is really cheap for what you're getting so that's that's a benefit of going with a big company like t-motor that i don't know who manufactures their carbon or whatever but i'm sure they put in big orders and they get the price down the quality is great very smooth very nice everything fit nicely the cuts are 
looking very nice. Everything is what you would expect from T-Motor. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, giving this away plus like five other frames this month or five frames total. I'm waiting for the rest to come in. Uh, Gep RC Mark IV and things like that. There's gonna be other giveaways too this month on Patreon. It's gonna be a big month. So check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. I've got some good stuff coming, so stay tuned. Peace.